Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another video, and this is my very, very first film review um, on the channel. It's a new thing that I'm starting. Uh, I want to try and review to you guys um, the most recent films out that I've seen, tell you what I like and tell you what I don't like. Now, the first film is Independence Day Resurgence, which I watched last night, um, and um, this is my point of view on it. Now, there will be some spoilers um, in this video, so be prepared for that. I'll try not to give too much away, uh, but yeah, this is what I thought. Now, in general, I thought the film was very, very good. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be um, a massive thing, um, the biggest film in the world, but it is, no, 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 no less, uh, neither less, uh, one of the best uh, summer blockbusters so far. It's very, very entertaining. Now, a lot of people are comparing it to the 1996 version of Independence Day um, and saying that, they were concerned about, you know, the um, futuristic aspects of the film. You know, why did they bring uh, spaceships, uh, like modified spaceships or modified planes, shall we say, um, and technology to the next level in this film? Well, it is 20 years later. And if you look at, you know, te technology in these days, how it's progressed. Uh, you know, if you was in a situation or the world was in a situation where um, the planet was attacked by aliens and then obviously... Uh, planet Earth won the battle and there was remains of alien technology uh, left scattered across the planet then obviously this is going to be the outcome of, of a 20 year later period so to me uh, Ronald Emmerich really did touch home on that and I think he did a great job um, with um, explaining that in the film so yeah kudos to that I thought that was absolutely brilliant it would have been a bit a lot of people like you know in disaster films that you know, you know, it's the weak guy against the bat against the powerful guy. They like the the weaker party sort of winning, and they expected it to be as it is now with no alien technology. You know, just using you know normal weapons from the army side and so on. But that would have been a realistic sort of approach to the film. It wouldn't have been a realistic outcome of the actual story told in the original, because as we know in the original film. Um, there were elements of aliens still scattered across the planet. You know, the ships had crashed after they destroyed them. Obviously, there's going to be alien um, uh, aliens left alive, so there'll be a battle there. Um, so, technology-wise, obviously, the technology was going to be left there. So, um, you know, the technology would have been researched upon. Um, to give us the technology that they did have in Resurgence. So um, I thought that was a really, really nice touch. Now, special effects wise, I thought it was absolutely incredible. Um, I do feel that they should have not gone OTT with the special effects and kept, kept it in the same sort of, um, you know, feel as the original 1996 version. But at the same time, you know, if you want to go bigger and better, obviously the bigger the special effects, the bigger the film's going to be. But in 1996, when this film came out, the uh, special effects were absolutely outstanding for its time. I mean, we're, we're going back 20 years now, so um, the effects that they produced in that film 20 years ago was absolutely outstanding. So they could have kept, and it worked, sorry, it worked. The film actually worked with them effects fantastically. So they could have kept that sort of ideology with them effects in place, and they could have kept it the same sort of effects, but obviously make the film bigger, um, and better at the same time. Um, I did like the idea with the Queen, um, you know, coming for the battle, you know, she's uh, protecting the hive um, and all that. It was like a massive Anne Connolly. If you look at an Anne Connolly with, uh, with, with the Queen and all the soldiers going off to battle, I did like that sort of feel because it did add an element of, of, of nature to it and, and a little bit of realism that could make it absolutely believable. Um, even though it's not believable. So yeah, um, all in all, um, out of 10 uh, film strikes, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, purely because it was a tough act to follow. And this is what a lot of people got to understand. This film's got a lot of bad reviews because they were expecting it to be exactly the same as the first one. Okay? Independence Day is a classic in its own mind. You know, nothing can beat that. It's exactly the same as when Jaws came out. Then Jaws 2 came out and was absolutely terrible. Draw three, draw four. You you never beat the original because obviously the original um, Independence Day is twenty years old now, so it's classed as a cult classic. So there was a lot of expectations um, 
for it to be uh, uh, just as good as the original when it never will because of the length of time uh, the um, yeah it never be as good as the original but it could be just as good I mean it's a very very I mean if you want to put this into context what this film is it's an excellent summer blockbuster it's a it's a popcorn flick without a shadow of a doubt Jeff Goldblum reprises his role uh, of Lev, uh, Livingston and he's absolutely fantastic in it um, I do wish Will Smith would have reprised his role, role as, uh, uh, as captain. You know, I wish he would have come back, but obviously he had other commitments. But still, the guy who played Dylan, I can't remember what his name was, he did a fantastic job. Um, and Hemingsworth did a great job as well in his role. So all in all, I would say 8 out of 10 star for this film. It is a great summer blockbuster. Um, it's a great popcorn flick. It's not to be taken seriously. But there is a bit of a surprise at the end of the film, which I won't say nothing about. But it looks like it's going to be leading on to a third film. And if it's going to be anything like they've sort of hinted at the end of this film, it's going to be an absolute fantastic movie. So as always, guys, thanks for listening. If you've enjoyed this little quick review of Independence Day Resurgence, please hit that like button um, and that subscribe button because there's going to be plenty more film reviews um, on Filmic coming up. And I'll definitely catch you um, in the next Filmic review. Ciao, ciao.